that Omnisphere 2 has a brand new audio import feature, we thought we'd try it out. So we grabbed an iPhone and a little toy gong, and we had our way with it. After recording that magical sound to our phone, let us then export it from our phone to our computer and find it within Omnisphere by clicking on the Utility menu, dropping down to User Audio, and lo and behold, the folder in which our gong sample resides. Double-click it, wait for it to load, and boom! We have successfully added our gong to Omnisphere 2's user directory. If you can see here, I'll click on the date, and it will show me that's the date the gong was added. So all of your category folders are dated inside the user directory. Ta-da! And that's how you'll find everything. Okay, let's exit out of the SoundSource browser and play our sound. And there you have it for your next hit record, a gong. No, just kidding. We're going to turn on the granular oscillator now. Listen to how the different settings affect the sound. And now let's add some magic by turning on some of the brand new effects found in Omnisphere 2. Let's start by modulating the pitch with the resonators. Give some creamy analog phaser. Rough up the edges with a stomp box. Modulate the level with an LFO. And then we're gonna tame everything with a studio EQ. Ooh, that's nice. Now let's give it a little body by adding a pulsing saw square wave. All of that from this one sound. Spectrosonics Omnisphere 2 is available now at ilio.com and from your favorite music retailer.